In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up and manage tasks within PPCS. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you will need professional level account access in your seller tools account to be able to utilize tasks. So now may be a good time to consider upgrading if you want access to this feature and functionality. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into uh, my dashboard here. So I'm in the task list view right now. And what we're taking a look at is really the only task I've already set up. And it's been for a specific product group. So in this case, wallet passport, and I have configured day parting, which is a type of task that we can set up. Now, if we want to go ahead and take a look at this day parting that I have created, I want to show you this view and really highlight some of this advanced functionality. So I'm going to edit what I have set up. So here in this view for this product group, this functionality of day parting, I am taking a look at the calendar view and identifying the days of the week, which run vertically here and time of the day in which I have paused. So highlighted red are times of day that I have uh, spend paused for this product group. And then those in green are those that are still enabled. So if you're looking at this fresh, let's go ahead and start from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and enable this entire window of time. And we wanna leverage day parting, very advanced functionality, often a very heavy investment to leverage this type of functionality because what you aim to do or really want to achieve is review your sales performance, get some insights into better times of day and days of the week to ensure that your uh, campaigns and product groups are enabled or potentially paused if there is suboptimal performance um, that you are uh, identifying. So let's just say, as an example, we've reviewed some of our sales, um, looked at some of our performance, and we see that early morning hours uh, across a number of days of the week are suboptimal for us. We want to pause our spend and leverage day parting. All that we need to do is just click those blocks of time that we've identified, and we're effectively pausing for that specific product group. Now, of course, as a product group, you can isolate a group of ASINs, a single ASIN, really leverage those insights to where this advanced functionality comes into play and you're making the best use of it. So just as easy as that, I have started from scratch effectively. I edited, or excuse me, I edited the prior example that I configured. I have now updated it. And now when I update, bring it back over to my task list, I can then see and manage it from here. And just as easy, I can re-edit, I can delete that, but I have configured it uh, based on um, insights from my sales performance. Simple and as easy to do. Now, if I wanna set up a brand new task, I can select a product to schedule. It's gonna bring me back to the uh, product group uh, view. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick that same product group name, that wallet passport that I've isolated before. And you can click task right here to the far right to create a brand new task. And again, we have the day parting calendar view. Now I wanna show you the day parting advanced view. Now this is where you really get down a very deep to narrow when you enable and then disable your day parting functionality. You can get down to the minute of the hour that you wanna select, the hour of the day, the day of the month, and then the month as well. So if you really want a very short, tight window of time, again, I'm gonna encourage you to do this based on analysis uh, as a data-driven decision ultimately, but that functionality gives you a really clean and simple way to do that through the calendar and then through the more advanced functionality, you can really dial in the scope of when you want to leverage day parting. Now readily available here, something to keep in mind, the uh, time zone that is set up. So that is where your um, the, uh, the time zone that will apply to your day parting functionality. But very cool, very advanced stuff, often uh, would cost hundreds, thousands of dollars to be able to implement. So I'm very excited that we can make this available to everyone and leverage it to its fullest. Now, alongside day parting, we have ad boost. Now, if you run promotional sales, you do launches, you do lightning deals, it's a great opportunity for you to increase or uh, really leverage your PPC efforts to its fullest. And I'm gonna show you some of the options that you have. So as an example, in a window of time, you'll notice we have the same functionality down here in terms of uh, day parting, where we can set when it starts and when it ends, what type of tweaks we wanna make to our PPC. Do we wanna increase uh, top of search? Uh, whether it's 100%, 200%, or 300%, or even pre-fill and manually input, um, how much more we want to increase 
for top of search. We can increase our keyword bids. Uh, again, highly advisable to consider for something uh, like a lightning deal where you're just giving Amazon everything at once. You're pushing so much traffic, uh, so many page interactions at one point in time. Uh, AdBoost is a really great way to do that. You can increase the budget at the campaign level. So one time, uh, two times, or three times the, uh, the account budget. And you can also alter uh, the bidding strategy here as well. And you can set up multiple tasks. So again, if you lay out a schedule, if you have a calendar in which you're reviewing, evaluating, configuring something like, like a lightning deal, you can make sure that that task through your uh, strategic steps here in terms of things like top of search and keyword bids, and then also configuring the scheduling for it, you can have it layer right over the top maybe proceed uh, something like a lightning deal, but for the explicit purpose of telling Amazon, we are uh, welcoming a ton of traffic, a ton of page interactions, giving it everything at once uh, for ultimate rank benefit and uh, ideally for also driving exceptional ROI. So those are a few things that you can do with tasks, uh, whether it's day parting, whether it's ad boosting, very simple and easy to be able to set this up. View it all in one pl place through the task list. You can, of course, review and refer back to any that you've paused, but taking a look at all of our enabled tasks, managing them here, updating them as needed, deleting them if they're not necessary, but very quick and easy, as you guys have seen, very quick and easy to be able to set this up leverage this advanced functionality and uh, use your PPC strategically.